Welcome to writing lesson number one. Today we're going to look at how to write a basic sentence to answer a question, and we're going to focus on keywords. And the good thing about keywords is you already know most of these keywords, and you use keywords every day and in most sentences that you speak. So this should be kind of a review. Um, I have a quick example here, and you're going to see this example again. So here's the question, where do you live? And we're going to expand upon this in the next lesson on writing a complete sentence um, to TTQA. And the wrong answer to this question is Gloversville. You might think, why is it wrong, Mr. Guerin? Mr. Wagner, what am I doing? Well, we don't know, but it's in the wrong format. So um, the correct answer there is would be, I live in Gloversville, New York. So put your thinking caps on. Get ready to talk about and learn about keywords in social studies. All right, before writing an answer to a question or task, you must first study the question or task and understand what it is asking you to do. This means that you break down the question or task and look for important words that tell you what to do. Those important words are keywords. By looking for and understanding the keywords, this will help you prepare a good answer. And the keyword in a task tells you what to do with the topic. And this will all make sense in just a moment. The keyword is an instruction word. And we're going to list a bunch of instruction words. So there you go. You've heard these before, so don't get too nervous. Compare, contrast, define, describe, discuss, or explain. Identify, list. Also, we have the basic keywords, who, what, when, where, why, and how. Now, each of these keywords has its own definition, and each one asks you to do something slightly different. So if, um, for example, if I asked you, where is your locker, and you told me grapefruit, well, you might have just told me what your locker smells like, not where it is. So that's kind of silly. Um, if I asked you, when were you born? And you told me uh, St. Mary's Hospital. Well, you, you missed the keyword. You told me where you were born instead of when. So keywords are vital. And students oftentimes mix these up and confuse them <clears throat> because of a lack of attention to detail. So you have to really pay attention to these keywords so you understand what you're expected to do. Um, <clears throat> so compare means to state the similarities between two or more examples. Compare is pretty easy. Tell what is similar. So, for example, an apple and an orange. Let's compare them. What are some things that are similar? Well, they're skin. They have skin. They are fruit. They have taste. Uh, that's about all the similarities. <clears throat> now contrast, on the other hand, contrast is to state the differences between two or more examples, or to differentiate, tell differences. So same thing, apple and oranges, what are the differences? The color, the taste, um, the insides look differently. Apples are smooth inside and Oranges have a have slices in them, and they come from different trees. All right, next we have define. That means to explain what something is or what it means. So when I ask you to define a word, you tell me what that word means. Or define an apple. Tell me all about it. Tell me what it is. It's a fruit that's red or green, grows on a tree in a certain climate, um, it takes three months to develop, so that's defined. Or give me the definition of the American Declaration of Independence. Well, it's a document that was written that uh, explained the reasons why the colonies, the American British colonies, were separating from England and starting their own country. Next is describe, <clears throat> to give details or features, to illustrate in words, to tell about, basically to give details. Um, if, I, if I asked you to describe your outfit, you might tell me what color your shirt is, um, tell me what kind of pants you're wearing, what kind of shoes you have, 
It's what you have on at that moment. Describe to give details or features. And after you give me the description, I should have a clear image in my mind of what you look like for the day or what your outfit looks like. Uh, next is to discuss or explain. And that's to make observations using facts, reasonings, arguments to present in some detail. And so um, you would use facts. It, it's very similar to describe, um, but you, you're you going to talk about it. So discuss, we're usually going to use that when we would say discuss the Declaration of Independence. Or even better for what you're learning now, discuss the early humans that crossed the land bridge. So you might give me facts about them. You might tell me about their weapons, their tools, their clothing, the way that they got here, how they were able to get here with a, with or without water in between them and Asia. Um, so you might give me a reason why they came. You might give me alternate reasons or alternate ways that they got here. So that's discuss. It's more in depth than just describe. Next, identify to name in a sentence. And um, that might be, we might use a question like, identify the weapons of the early humans and give you a picture. So you would write in a sentence, early humans used weapons made out of stone and wood and bone. Or in this picture, there is a spear that the early humans used. That's identify. List means to name in a list and not in a sentence. So a list, just like a grocery list, you would just write a big list of whatever we're asking you for. List the causes of early humans migrating. So you would list lack of food, lack of water, animals migrated, enemies, or tribes became enemies. The climate was too harsh. Maybe we would ask you for a list of generals in the American Revolution. Or we might ask you a list of members of your group. So a list, you don't have to put it in a complete sentence. You just write down the answer. We have found that students love list because you don't have to put it into a complete sentence. But we are here to teach you how to write complete sentences, so we're going to avoid list. Uh, other key words include who, what, when, where, why, and how. And you are very familiar with those, so don't forget about them. Okay, let's do a couple of practices here. Um, letter A, or number one, letter A. Well, number one says define the term geography. That's your question. So define the term geography. So first of all, letter A, what is the key word in the task? And that should be pretty easy. Right there. The key word in the task is the word define. See, it's right there, define. Oftentimes, keywords start the sentence, um, but not always. So letter B, what does the key word tell you to do? So what does that word define mean? What is it asking you to do? The key word define tells you to explain what something is or what it means. So if you have some trouble with this, go back and try it again. And if not, let's go forward, let's continue, let's look at number two. The question is, discuss the way in which early humans arrived in the Americas. Now, we're not asking you to do that right now. Instead, we're asking you, letter A, what is the key word in the task? So look at that sentence. What is the key word? Think of that list that we just saw, that we just went through. And what is the key word in the task? Well, the key word in the task is the word discuss. So, letter B, what does the keyword tell you to do? What does discuss tell you to do? What's it asking you to accomplish? And the keyword discuss tells you to make observations using facts and present in detail. So now, at least you can break down the sentence, the, the question, so you know what you need to do. You'll know that you're going to be discussing or giving details. You're going to be observing using facts the way in which early humans arrived in the Americas. Instead of making a list of the way early humans arrived in the Americas, because that just would not answer this question. And uh, up in the first one up here, the first question, define the term geography. 
Well, instead of giving examples of geographic features, no, this asks you to define, which means to tell you, or which means to, to explain what something is or what it means. Let's do one more example. Describe how the environment of the eastern woodlands affected the way of life of the Iroquois. All right, so let's look at the sentence. Read it one more time. Describe how the environment of the eastern woodlands affected the way of life of the Iroquois. So let's look at our questions. Letter A, what is the key word in the task? Well, the key word there, just like the other two in most of our questions, the key word starts the task or the question. So the key word in the task is the word describe. Next, letter B, what does the key word tell you to do? The key word describe tells you, to, tells you to give details or features or to illustrate in words. So if I actually gave you this question, describe how the environment of the eastern woodlands affected the way of life of the Iroquois, after you finish your answer and when I read it, I should have a, an illustration in my mind, a picture in my mind, of all the different ways that the environment of the eastern woodlands affected the way of life of the Iroquois. So it's very detailed, a lot of details, and that's going to be the theme of this year for you, is to describe, to give details, lots of details. All right, good luck, and go on to the next uh, sentence writing video.